Good day, everyone. Welcome to Stellaris. We are the Pills on Prosperity Sphere, and we are fighting the Contingency. They have been contained, but not defeated. And today, I think we're going to try and take out this sterilization hub. That way, all of these ships, which are locked down defending, can be uh, repurposed for attacking our real, our true enemies. Oh, the Xenos living among us have caused friction in Habitable Section B? Oh, Habitable Section B. That's a place to be loyal to. Our own people are furious. Well, the thing is, we don't really have Xenos in our empire. We just have different, uh, different varieties of pills on. So I think we want to go with option B. All the alien Xenophile pops on Habitable, habitable Section B Gain the Enraged modifier for 12 months. Minus 25% happiness and resource gathering. Well, that should be fine. I don't think we have any... Xenophiles in our empire. Where's my ring world? There it is. Section B. Yeah, that was kind of just a random stupid event. Anyway, on with the story. So yeah, we have a bunch of Corvettes incoming to reinforce our two fleets here. And then I guess maybe we'll just go in and see what kind of damage we can do. I don't know... The, the two Corvette fleets, once they are fully strengthened, might be enough to do it. I don't know. But maybe we can send in some more ships. Yeah, we have these, uh, these battleships here. Why don't we send those battleships in? Fleet manager. The thing is, our battleships aren't really designed for fighting the contingency. So let's take. I, and you know, I don't know. If, I, I feel kind of lazy. I don't. I don't feel like refitting them. I mean, they're not terrible. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we should send in our battleships because they're focused on taking down enemy shields, but our corvettes are focused on puncturing right through the shields and going after hull points and armor. We'll just have to wait and see. Once the gathering of fleets is complete, and we have, we know what our total fleet power is, then maybe we'll go in. Especially if the Prime Defense Protocol, if they attack the Sterilization Hub, like, how can we coordinate attacking at, at the same time? Like, because they're not technically my ally, we're not technically at war. And if we attack the hub, we need to defeat a 200k fleet and a 41k station. See, I don't think they're going to attack the hub. I think they're going to only attack the hub if we attack the hub. Yeah, we're just going to send in... Let's make a new design of battleship, how about? Or we could just build more corvettes, actually. Let's do that. See, the thing about fighting a crisis is that... You, you lose a ton of corvettes, but since it's not technically a war... You, you don't suffer any war exhaustion for it. So it's really... One of the main disadvantages of using Corvettes is kind of null and void. Alright, so let's build, uh... Let's build up six of those, and then we'll reinforce the fleet with as many as we can. We finished a new habitat. Also, I'm gonna send this Corvette fleet to go upgrade. Construction complete. And then we just need to push this button a million times. So the Mega Corporation upgrade, or the, the new 2.2 patch is coming out on December 6th, which is, uh, well, basically six days from now, or seven. So I wonder how far we're going to get in this playthrough. We might not even complete it. But we'll do what we can. My hope is to at least try and get independence from the Combine. If we can do that, that would be a good way to end things off. Let's see, that's going to bring me way over my fleet capacity. Actually. I didn't realize how close I was to my fleet capacity. Well, okay, I'm, I'm going to build this fleet regardless. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that was it was just being bugged again. Construction complete. We're at eight, we'll be at 814 of 878. Complete. So no big deal. A gathering of all ships. A gathering of the great fleet. 
So if we, if we have uh, three fleets of 180 Corvettes, then we might have a chance. And for good measure, I'll also send in those battleships. Technology researched. Just to help a bit. New technology. Naval capacity plus 20. Bully. Nothing that we really need. I guess I'll go for the gene crops for the simple fact that it will only take nine months to complete. That fleet's upgrading. How long is it going to take? Okay, not too long. They're at 15... 20% already. Outfit them with the latest and greatest weapons. The Fortress of Astinda Prime. Upgrading it to a Star Fortress to increase our defenses. But of course, once we defeat the Sterilization Hub, we won't need that defensive station anymore. Construction complete. So the fleet that we're upgrading has 61.3k fleet power. We'll see what kind of power it has once it's done upgrading. Ships upgraded. All right, a, a minor increase. Let's go. Let's get the other fleet upgraded. That's a good admiral. Level 7. Whereas the other admiral is only level 4. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, having good good leadership makes a big, big difference. Let's recruit Elgacroon for our third Corvette fleet. So I hear that if for every sterilization hub you destroy, complete. the other sterilization hubs increase their activity and the rate with which they'll spawn new fleets to go attack. And I certainly do hope that is true. Because if we, if we can destroy this hub to improve our position and then thereby decreasing or, you know, making the other hubs complete. more aggressive in all the space of my enemies, that would be good. Ships upgraded. Excellent. 70k strength fleet power. And this fleet is almost filled up. Battleships are en route. All right, I guess I'll just uh, use my jump drives, how about? We'll just have to wait for uh, the jump drive debuff to disappear. It's always cool. Construction complete. And Astinda is now your home. You are stationed at Astinda for the upcoming operation. So we have 120 fleet power. Technology or yeah, so what is that? So 120... 180 fleet power, 185, 193, so we have almost 200k fleet power. And considering our ships are specifically designed to fight the contingency, we might be able to do it. Hydroponic farms, excellent. Let's go for, yeah, let's get even. Oh, um, we don't need the Ministry of Benevolence because we, we have a highly stable empire. We don't really, our people don't deviate from our ethics too much. You know, what exactly do we have going on? Like we have 43% uh, of our population, or 59% of our population is xenophobe. 10% are egalitarian. So it would be nice if they switched from egalitarian back to xenophobe or pacifist. But it, that's okay. Like we don't need to build a ministry of benevolence for that. I think we're doing pretty good in the, the stability department. Okay, so actually, I am going to make a new design of battleship. Because it'd be senseless to send in those unoptimal battleships. Especially since we have the opportunity to make it work. So what can we give them? We can give them a Cloud Lightning. Yeah. Which has 100% shield and armor penetration. Goes straight for the hull points. And the contingency is very weak when it comes to hull. We'll load up on shields because the contingency is not very good at dealing with shields. We'll need some reactor boosters. Still not enough. Let's uh, put some armor on there. Um, and do we want the line or the artillery? I think we want to go for a line. I think a plus 10% chance to hit is probably better than 10% weapons range, I think. 
I'm not sure what the uh, what the word is on that. We'll call this the anti-con. And of course, auto upgrade. Oh, damn it. Okay, so here's the problem. In the fleet manager, we don't have access to that particular fleet, so I can't switch out the ship class and upgrade it. It's damn. Stupid bug. So what we need to do is we need to... Can I transfer ships? That might work. Now let's go to the fleet manager. There it is. There's the fleet. Okay. So I'm going to transfer all of these ships to the other fleet. Let's group those up. Okay. Now, now that we actually have them represented in the fleet manager, we can retrofit them, switch them to the anti-con class, and then upgrade them for only 60 minerals. Okay. And there's a... I built a star base right here in our dock. So they should be able to upgrade pretty quickly. Of course, they're extremely slow. And tiny. Just a speck of dust in the vastness of space. Despite the brutal military power that they can bring to bear. And we need to colonize the habitat. Ships upgraded. And let's send them in. Alright, so 180 days. The operation will begin. And I guess we'll give you an admiral. I guess I'll go for... Ooh, Trickster. Yeah, Emergency FTL. Chance plus 25%. So we can... Preserve our fleet power. This should be... Everyone in high command is very nervous about what's going to happen. Explosive weapon damage plus 5%. I guess I'll just start researching random junk, like the Goss Cannon. I mean, well, it's not junk, but I just, I don't really have a place for it in my fleet. All seat, all fleets are aggressive. Okay, so here's what we gotta do. Let's take the three Corvette fleets and order them to follow the battleship fleet. That way, we can assure that they all arrive at the same time. Uh, otherwise, the Corvettes will get there first. Actually, you know what? We probably should send the Corvettes in first. Yeah, that's right. We should definitely do that. Because uh, I want the Corvettes to start soaking up firepower before the battleships arrive. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll all meet... Like, I want to stagger the arrival a bit. So we'll we'll meet here at this rally point... Then we'll send the ships through. Like, I want the Corvettes to arrive maybe 20 days ahead of time instead of... and not 50 days ahead of time, for example. So yeah, we just gotta wait now. I mean, there's really nothing to do. Our empire is built up. We have nothing to upgrade. I mean, we just occasionally have to colonize a habitat or a ring world segment. Yeah, it's just not, not, much, not much going on. I guess, uh... There are some defenses we could be shoring up, like uh, our Pulsar station, which is currently still upgrading. We can upgrade you to a Citadel, how about? And some more gun batteries. It's going to take a while, but hopefully it'll be ready in time for the war with the machines. Okay, I think we're, we should be good to go in. Every, everyone's aggressive. Everyone has an Admiral. They have their orders. Corvette's going in on the first wave. Followed by the battleships roughly 10 days later. The battleships will come in and start laying down fire support. And there you go, the Corvettes. We'll see how this goes. Battleships are there in the back. This is going to be a bloodbath. Look at that. Such incredible range. And there go the torpedoes. They're, <laughs> they've been distracted by the enemy transport ships. It's a waste of a first volley of torpedoes, but what can you do? 
And now they're fully into the melee. That's tight. All right, our battleships are taking up position. Taking heavy damage. Well, already lost a ship, but they are responding with their lightning arcs. A fleet of ships at war. No finer sight. Oh man, what an epic freaking battle. Need to get some pictures so we can sell some postcards back home. Commemorate the victory with a nice postcard. You know, I'm seeing a lot of battleships get destroyed. Guess we could take this up a bit. So, I mean, yeah, we, we basically whittled the enemy fleet by more than 50%. Our battleships are getting slaughtered, but I've seen a few of them escape. Colonization initiated. We seem to be destroying the fleet. New ruler mandate. Okay, I don't care. Politicians can do what the politicians will do. I'm busy fighting a war here. The final battleship. What is this? It, this is the... The Yem Bud Budol battleship. Oh, uh, the enemy fleet is almost dead, and then we need to take out the station. And the, the Admiral of the Yum, the battleship, the battleship that could. It's charging down the throat of the enemy. Oh, and the station has been taken down. One more station to go, and we'll have secured the system. Oh, the battleship goes down. Ah, uh, almost survived till the end. Oh, I think this is the, the enemy fleet that occasionally spawns here. But thankfully we have enough strength left to defeat it. I think we do. Okay, okay, we did it. Now we just need to bomb the sterilization hub. And uh, the, uh, you know, my so-called allies can deal with their own sterilization hubs as they will. I mean, I'm not gonna help them. All right, so anyway, we need to bomb the planet. It's gonna take a while. Especially with our timidness when it comes to orbital bombardments. And we lost a lot of ships, so our mineral input has uh, increased. Uh, you know, I wonder why that is. So two battleships did survive. They retreated, and they will return to us uh, in the fifth month of this year. I'm, I'm not going to bother rebuilding the fleet, because I only need those battleships if I'm going to be fighting contingency. And that won't be happening, because my next plan now is to probably fight the, the Combine again. While they're being distracted by the contingency, maybe we can make our move. Relaying transmission. Oh, what do you want? You'll give us minerals for Yorontic crystals? I will agree to that. And we have... Oh, we have a... How about that? We have another Ringworld section to colonize. And another Ringworld section to construct... Okay, what's a close-by planet? Decayed hub? You're good. How are these ring world sections doing? So we can upgrade our planetary administration. 
let's see. We are just we have a bunch of buildings that we need to build. Pythagorean power plant. I love it. Give you a basic science lab. We're gonna give you an energy grid. A large portion of the population of Skol Secundus has been gripped by fear and paranoia. As a result of the recent synthetic infiltrations, our citizens are accusing their neighbors, co-workers, and even family members of being a synth imposter. Well, I'm not a synth imposter. There have been several lynchings of individuals that were wrongfully accused of being a synth. Well, I mean, we know they're innocent now, right? It's like a, a witch hunt, right? Some agitators have even gone as far as to suggest that the entire leadership of the Pills on Prosperity Sphere has been subverted by synth infiltrators. Well, I think recent events would counteract that ridiculous hypothesis. As I said already, I am not a synth. And frankly, I find the idea offensive. And what do we still need to build here? We gotta build a Paradise Dome, a mineral processing plant. I I'm just beside myself in in anger that they would accuse me of being a synth. Give you a, let's give you some hydroponic farms, how that. Okay, that's good. And I think I'll probably build some resource replicators here when I get the chance. And that is going to be all for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time for more Stellaris. And hopefully we'll try to wrap up this playthrough in the next five or six episodes. Have a great one.